What is up, everybody? This is Bacon Chris here, and today I am in Orlando, Florida, and I'm actually going to Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Now, I'm not going to the main park today, but I will do that. So, I'm at Universal walking in from my hotel. That's the main entrance sign. Right over there. Alright, I'm taking the escalator over to the theme park. And theme parks and city walk go this way. Ha ha. These are the coolest escalators ever. Monster Golf. Super excited for today. I am at Universal City Walk. And the welcome to Universal Orlando Resort is gone. Bobblegum Shrimp. I remember going there as a kid. Cinnabon, Universal. There's the Incredible Hulk Coaster. Oh, yes, I am super excited for that ride. It feels really good to be in Orlando. I'm just super excited to be riding coasters meeting characters. Oh, and I see the incredible coaster going for its test run. I wonder if it's open. Hope so. I'm there pretty sure. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. And I can see Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. Oh, and there's the Universal Globe. Go on that later. And then there's the Islands of Adventure Lighthouse with Hulk and Doctor Doom. Islands of Adventure is home to many different park sections, which they pretend are islands, such as the Port of Entry, Marvel Superhero Island, Tomb Lagoon, Jurassic Park, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, the Lioness Continent, and Seuss Landing. And the adventure begins. That's the main gate that Allows you to enter. Right. There's Seuss Landing, Lost Continent, Jurassic Park with the Velocicoaster, Two Lagoon is far away, and then there's the Incredible Hulk Coaster, the Port of Entry. So we're stopping at our first island of the day, Marvel Superhero Island. amazing. I love Marvel Superhero Island. And then there's the Incredible Hulk Coaster right there. That's the first ride of the day. But you have to get a locker. Went on the Incredible Hulk Coaster, not once but twice without waiting. And it was amazing. Right. Even though I went on the Incredible Hulk Coaster, I am up to my first island of the day, Seuss Landing. There is the Karis Susel and the Cat in the Hat, and then there's this awesome train ride. I love monorails. Right, the first ride of the day, the Cat in the Hat, and there's a five minute wait. Here comes my ride vehicle. And then something went bump, and that bump made us jump. We looked, and we saw him step in on the map. We looked, and we saw him, the Cat in the Hat. Make that cat go away. To play, he should not be about it. And things too. They're okay. Oh, so okay. Then the cock is running. No, not in the house. Is that fish in the pot? They should not. Mother is on the way home. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother. Your mother is near. Wow, that Cat in the Hat ride was amazing. I remember reading the Cat in the Hat as a kid, and I remember watching the Cat in the Hat movie back in 2003, which was a good film. I hope Illumination creates 
the Cat in the Hat film, just like they did with the Grinch. And I remember reading the sequel called The Cat in the Hat Comes Back Home. Great green memory. Eggs and ham. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Today, the High in the Sky Zeus Trolley Train Ride. Ride is inspired by one of the books that I read called The Sneeches, where they have star bellies. All right, time to go on the happy-go-lucky train ride. All right, here comes my train going to be coming into the station. Train number one, happy-go-lucky. Right. That trolley ride was amazing. Basically, you just learn the alphabet while you're on the train ride. You get nice views of the islands and Seuss Landing, too. So I think I'm going to go over to my way to the Velocicoaster. And I just upgraded my regular tickets to park-to-park -park tickets. So, let's go to the next island. All right, I just decided to get myself a drink and I got myself a orange slushy. And they have something at Seuss Landing called Moose Juice and Goose Juice. And I have Moose Juice because they were out of Goose Juice. They'll be back and operating soon. Right, just exiting Seuss Landing and I'm about to go to the next island. The Lost Continent. Battles of Gods and Myths. There's Mythos Restaurant. And I think this is, oh yeah, this is Poseidon's Fury. Next ride of the day, Hawks made train Remember when Dragon Challenge used to be at Islands of Adventure? But unfortunately, they removed it to make room for Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventures roller coaster. But I wish Dueling Dragons would be there. But it is a still a fun coaster that I rode 10 years ago. Then it got removed in 2017. So I'm going to take the train ride because I have park to park tickets. Here comes the Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts Express. Now I'm going to go over. I'm at Universal Studios and I'm going to go check out whatever rides they have. Okay, I'm over at Universal Studios and they, here you can see the Simpsons ride and we're at the upper Harry Potter section of the park. And then there's Men in Black Alien. Right, next ride of the day, the Simpsons ride, which is a motion simulator ride of the Simpsons. I love the Simpsons and I love their ride. Side interior of the Simpsons ride. Door number two. Christy, is this a nuclear reactor? Ooh. What do you know about nuclear energy, kid? Leave that to us clowns. Oh, uh, Mr. Christy, sir, the reactor is terribly dangerous with the leakages, the crackages. Observe. Oh, the growing. Now, if a human being were to enter that room, who knows what events might occur you like. They could grow 50 feet tall, or three extra arms, or an eye where their nose should be, which is painful. Hey, Nurnheimer, don't you have a test tube to polish? Yes, I, I do, actually. All right, here comes my ride vehicle. Keep doing it. Rule number three. Wow, that was an amazing ride. I really enjoyed the Simpsons ride. It was an amazing ride. And I like 
basically the Simpsons going on a roller coaster and then they they fight with Sideshow Bob, who's a crazy guy. The Simpsons. There's the Quickie Mart and then there's Moe's. And we'll go on Kang and Kodo's Coral later. Friday of the day, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. That Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket was good. But I prefer the Incredible Hulk Coaster better. The Hulk Coaster was better than Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, but it was still a good ride. I think I'm gonna go on Minions, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. Over here used to be Shrek 4D. I remember when Ming, the Despicable Me ride used to be a Jimmy Neutron ride called Jimmy Neutron Nick Toon Blast, which was a fun ride as a kid. Next ride of the day, Jimmy Fallon, Race Through New York. For tonight's show inside. Jimmy Fallon ride was amazing. Now it's time for me to put my glasses and maybe head back to Islands of Adventure or maybe go on Transformers or something. Today, Transformers. Here comes my ride vehicle for Transformers. Wow. Transformers was awesome. Just like the Incredible Hulk. But I think the Incredible Hulk is way more awesome because it's a roller coaster. Thank you. So I decided not to go to Fast and Furious because the line wait was too long. So I'm going to go on the train back to Islands of Adventure because there's a lot of outdoor rides that I want to go on. One of the biggest travel tips when you go to Universal is to download the Universal app. It has wait times. You can put your tickets on there in case you forget them and stuff. Highly recommend the Universal app. Plus, it has a map, too. Take the train back to Islands of Adventure. Well, I'm back at Islands of Adventure. Finally. All right. Maybe I'll go on Hagrid's or the Velocicoaster or the Forbidden Journey. All right. I just got myself some butter beer, a Harry Potter All drink. Right, here's a view of the Hogwarts Castle. Right. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey was amazing. And next, here we I'm are at Jurassic Park. Wow, there's the Velocicoaster. I cannot wait to ride that coaster. Looks amazing. And here's the answer. Yes, they got a single rider line. Woohoo. Velociraptors. Uh, it feels good to be in the breeze. It's a hot Florida sun. All right, there's Jurassic Park Discovery Center. I'll go in that right. soon. There are some dinosaurs over at the museum at Jurassic Discovery Center. They have merchandise of the Velocicoaster and Jurassic Park and um, DNA sequencing, if you remember Mr. DNA, souvenir pennies, and uh, DNA fusion. <laughs> Yeah, fun center. Not as much fun as what it is. Over here, you can try to operate eggs. I don't know how it works. And then there's where you can see the egg patch. Oh, the dinosaurs. You bet Jurassic. I thought this was a museum, but this is where you can get food. Iconic 
spot for photos. Right. I'm about to be exiting Jurassic World, and then there's the Paradigm Flyers. They're not open today. And we're going to go over to the next island, Toon Lagoon. Right here comes the next island, Toon Lagoon, where they have homes of Dudley do Right, Popeye, Woody Woodpecker, and uh, cartoon characters. This is one way to beat the Florida sun. Can't wait to go on that ride. Dudley Do Right has a 60 minute wait. So instead of Dudley Do Right right now, I'm gonna go over to Popeye's Blue Watch Bath. I'm Popeye the Sailorman and I like spinach. Right, going on Popeye. Time to get me finished. My barge. I really enjoyed the Popeye and Bluto's rafts. I think I'm gonna go back to Marvel Superhero Island, do Spider-Man, Hulk, Doctor Doom. Popeye and Bluto. There's the comic strip cafe, and everywhere around Toon Lagoon. I got myself a hot dog. We are at Marvel Superhero Island. Getting my drink. Maybe I'll go on the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. He's really one of the bad butt superheroes. Oh look, photos. Oh wow, a 10 minute wait. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Spider-Man. He's the most action-packed superhero. And here we're at the Daily Bugle. Do we have a copy for? No. Okay, well we're waiting for more all right, here comes my ride vehicle for Spider-Man. What was that? Intruder! If you think you're getting out of here, you're in for it. Spider-Man! Time for me to get off the Spider-Man ride. Man. This ride is in loving memory of Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man and Marvel Comics. That Spider-Man ride was awesome. All the fire, the fog, and the special effects. Here comes the Spider-Man. All right, next ride of the day, Doctor Doom's Fearfall. And it reminds me of the Fantastic Four movie from 2005 and its sequel from 2007. Right, filming. All right, here comes the scariest tower. Well, I really enjoyed Doctor Doom's Fearfall, and it was a walk on. So I didn't have to wait in line at all. Now I need to find out how I'm gonna exit. And the door's open. I got five Hulk, I got five rides on the Incredible Hulk coaster, and it was awesome. Next ride of the day, Matt Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike. Event. I remember this queue right here used to be for Dragon Challenge or Dueling Dragons, and it was uh, the first and only B&M Inverted Coaster, and it was a fun ride. I was kind of upset that they tore it down and replaced it with this, but I hope Hagrid's is good. I remember seeing these buildings, and then there's the ride up ahead. The view of the coaster itself. Come on, Universal, why'd you have to get rid of such a good coaster? Well, it was probably for safety things. What Universal wanted to do was make Harry Potter more kid friendly, but the two inverted roller coasters were fun. I'm going to go to Bush Gardens, Tampa as an alternative to remember the dragons. All right, I'm waiting in line with these two guys and they're from Brazil. Hi. Hi there. You guys excited to ride Hagrid's? 
Totally. Very excited. Very excited. All right. Well, I didn't get to go on Hagrid because of the rainy weather. It's actually because of a storm coming. Fortunately, Hagrid's had to close because of inclement weather. So, what I'm going to do now is just go over to Universal Studios again. Hopefully, the rain will stop. There's a lot of indoor rides, so <laughs> they'll be open. Right, I'm back at Universal Studios, Florida, and I'm gonna do some more dark rides there. SpongeBob Store Pants, and now we're um, Park's Destination. I'll go there another day and meet the trolls, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, Shrek, and all. But now I'm gonna head over to ET. Remember, there's not a moment to lose because only E.T. Matt and only you can help him. Ah, E.T. Trouble. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're going to get you back to the green planet? You and E.T. will be making your three million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants and they'll give you your pass. Oh, sounds like E.T.'s ready to go. So good luck, everyone. And remember, E.T.'s counting on you, and so am I. Oh, it's up to you to save this planet so that you can visit us again. All right, here comes my ride vehicle. Oh, oh, baby. I enjoyed the E.T. ride, and it was one of my childhood rides when I was at Universal before. Next ride, Despicable Me. And each one is the creation of Gru's chief scientist, Dr. Nefario. He's a genius. He's a mastermind. He's old enough to get half off at most restaurants. And he always goes through the Margo, Edith, and Agnes, the family tree. Bruce childhood. Minion movie. Despicable Me too. You want to know who is my favorite minion? You are. Well, you soon will be. All right, everyone. If you're ready to become a minion, let me hear you say B. Bido, Bido, Bido. For me, I usually take this time to interview new recruits one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today, so I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. <clears throat> it should be kind of afraid, Edith. Hey, turn it off. All right, next ride of the day, Revenge of the Mummy, the roller coaster. Got a single rider line. I never watched the Mummy movie, but I've been on this before. All right, here comes my train for Mummy. Well, I really enjoyed the Mummy ride, and I mean, it was a pretty scary, but a lot of people didn't know it was a roller coaster, but it actually is. I think that will be enough for today. I mean, I went to Universal and Islands of Adventure and upgraded my regular ticket for Park to Park. I will definitely be doing the Volcano Bay soon. So stay tuned because the next day I'm going to SeaWorld. Since the park's closing right now, I think it would be better for me to get out too. There are some rides that I missed, but I'll get a chance to do them another day. All right, I'm going to go be heading into my hotel because I got to go purchase SeaWorld tickets with my SeaWorld gift cards from BJ's. All right, there is the iconic Universal Globe. There's the entrance to the park. Thank you for visiting Orlando. I'll be back. Well, that's going to wrap up my BCA on my trip to Universal studios and islands of adventure. I will be going to SeaWorld and 
I will do a BCA on that, as well as going to Bush Gardens and coming back to Universal. I will see you guys in the next adventure.